1996 Stan Collymore, Newcastle versus Liverpool, one of the most iconic Premier League games ever. He scored a last minute winner in that match, which really did put the nail on the coffin for Newcastle's title race. Now, 26 years later, we stand outside St James's Park. Newcastle versus Liverpool today. Newcastle also play Manchester City next week. So we can pull off a result in one of these two matches. We can massively dictate the title race. And that's just the start, hopefully, and Newcastle's taking a big part of it. But anyway, guys, as always, here we are on a match day. Plenty to get into today, all the build-up, all the post-match reactions. Plenty to get into. One last push for Newcastle. It was a huge weekend ahead with this game today. And tomorrow, Annick Town at home for the women's team. That is the first women's match to ever be played at St James Park. Potentially one of the biggest days ever in North East for women's football. So make sure you get yourselves down to that game. May the first, where were you? Hiya, my name's John from Whitney Bay. Uh, I'm back over from Thailand. I've got a bar over there called the Magpie. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be here for a few, few months now. Following Newcastle Army life and uh, just really, really looking forward to this today. Cannot wait for the kickoff. Like um, I've got two one in the boogies to Newcastle. I might as well, you know, try not to lose. Two one, fair enough. Uh, so with the games coming up now, it's only got four more matches left. It's going to be more about the summer time now. I think Newcastle's season. Yes, we've still got a couple more games. It really is starting to come to an end now. What are you hoping for to happen in the summer? Uh, well, obviously they're going to spend on there, you know. I hope we get them, uh, get some real good signings like Botman, you know. He nearly came, but we didn't get him. Uh, there's a few. The link, right? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they get Holland, to be honest. You know, oh, really. That's very <laughs> ambitious. Uh, not yet, I, I would say, but I mean, <laughs> it's possible. You know, everything's possible with money now. I mean. I don't know. Uh, I'd like to see Taggart get that deal, like, because he's, he's he worked hard for that this season. He's done all right. Uh, I don't know. You know, we don't know what's going to happen with Callum Wilson. You know, we need a centre forward. Uh, so for me, that's a priority, like. Yeah, I agree. So behind me, guys, is the East Stand. That's where the turnstiles will open for the women's match tomorrow. I'll be literally standing here before and after the game when I come say some words about the women's team i'm sure the players and the staff will appreciate it there we are guys heading upstairs in the wonder bar now always like you on the team light up inside there gets the atmosphere of going for a match but i upstairs guys is where this footage will be at season ticket holder for the last five years for well, Liverpool today. It does. I think we'll... I can't see more than any more than three goals in the game because a few seasons back Eddie turned over Eddie turned Liverpool over with the ball. So why can't we do it now with the better squad? Well I mean Liverpool have got one of the best runs in recent history. If you really think we can do it today? Realistically right if there's anyone to do it the team on the best. Why not? That's better. But finally for the summer ahead, you know, there's a couple more weeks left. Are you excited for the summer? Who do you think we should sign? Oh, to, to be honest, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you many players. And I've, I was calling my mates in there. And quite a lot of people I speak to think Chris Woods or I don't have an issue with them at all. Fair enough, I know strength has meant to score goals. But if you look at nine, ten, nine times out of ten, you wins the ball in that. But, uh, in terms of savings, my target's been great this season, but with my budget, I think it can get better. Yep. So I get, get my left back, one more centre back. I think that's sweet. And we'll have Bruno's made in, plus uh, Wendell's from Leon. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I appreciate how it is. No worries.
What about you? I think uh, it's only 1-1 one, one, and I think uh, Joe Linton scores well. Joe Linton for both of you, alright? Fair enough. There is the start 11 there. I know we won the ball, we got quite a few of the shots, but I thought I'd get it on the screen just so people understand it. Now, I really do like the fact that Eddie Howe is kept in an attacking minded football. He's not intimidated by Liverpool at all. And it might come back to bite us in the backside today, but we can play with that full throne confidence because. We have nothing to lose today. If we lose the match, so what? We've had such a good season. The turnaround to be exceptional. And this is and this Liverpool team is in one of its best forms ever. So, yeah, there's no shame in losing it today. But uh, we do still have to give 100% and obviously keep it competitive. We can't just lose 4 0 again like we did in Man City a few months ago. So, we do have to keep it competitive. But overall, though, lineup's good. And I am looking forward to see how this team gets on. Um, I'm Sam. I think, I think we're in it to win it. We're going to attack the game. 2-1. I'm thinking it's a 2-1-0 win. Emil Kraft had that last minute. Oh, yeah. so he's got the Sweden flag. He thinks Emil Kraft's going to score one. So that's things you love to see there. Hey, my name's John. Travel away from Bristol. Used to be up in Newcastle, but now I'm in Bristol. Coming up for the match tonight. Today and um, we're going to go one each. Hopefully, last is one each in two one to the four one third. But it's going to be a cracking game, and it's the app's going to be bouncing. The players got to be up for it. The team lineup looks okay, and if you get in the faces and get past them, past them, we'll be okay. But don't let them go. Um, they take the game. They do take the game. Then we could be in for a long, long game. But listen, people, I'm going to go with um, horses one each. I think they're probably going to by two goals to one. And you can find us on John Us on NFC 42, John Sinclair TV on my YouTube, Twitch, John Sinclair 50 on my Insta, and John Sinclair TV on Facebook. Hey, cheers, John. Hi, my name's Dennis. Hi, my name's Sam. What do you think for the score today, lads? 2 2. A goal scores? Uh, Bruno. Bruno's going to get two, and I think Salah and, uh, Salah and Mali. Uh, and what about you? I think two. 2-2 two, two as well, well, listen, I hope it's a 2-2 two, two, lads, anyway, enjoy the game, let's go there, Benji. Honestly, I would love the old classic 4-3, but I'm not sure, I mean, it's not going to be 4-3, but if it was 4-3 to us, that would be magical, that would be absolutely magical. By the way, this is Bruno's Magic Hat from Norwich. Oh, yeah, I'm Joe. What do you think for the score there, lads? I went 2-2, two, two. Bruno, Chris Wood. Alright. 1-1, 2-0, one, one. Two, one, no. that's ambitious, but I hope it's a result, lads, I think any point of day you got to take against a team like Liverpool, do you two think Newcastle are going to win a swallow? I hope so, but I can't say this going to be a draw, I'll, take, I'll happily take my point, but I'll take a draw. Ah, well, listen, lads, it doesn't matter what happens, we're staying up, so enjoy it, lads, yeah? There we have it, full-time Newcastle, no Liverpool won. Quite a few mixed responses I've seen so far from the game, but I tell you what, I think it was quite good to be honest, I actually think it was a pretty good performance. You've got to remember this, Liverpool team's been one of its best yeah. runs ever. All right, lads, but um, I, I think Liverpool were always going to come here and be dominant, that was expected. I think possession-wise, second half, we much better. Uh, I think before Salah came on, we gave it a pretty good go. But once Salah came on the pitch of the second half, he was a game-changer. Chance after chance after chance, Liverpool were creating. They didn't manage to take any in the second half, but I think overall, they did deserve the win, uh, let's be honest. The cast we won, we were creating bits and bobs. Every time we really created Johnny something good, we were always offside. Uh, we never really created much that was onside, unfortunately. So against a world-class back four, probably the best defence in the world, you would say. So that's understandable. But I think first off, we did need to do a little bit more. All right. But I overall, though, not too bad. I think it was pretty good. Uh, City away next week. I think that'll be a tougher game than today, but again, no play like that next week. You never know, we've got a decent chance. 
Uh, no shame in losing that game at all. I think we gave it hundred percent. Yes, I got problems with the game. Yes, there's going to be issues. I'm going to talk about later on. I might uncensor match reaction, but not bad. Uh, not bad at all. I'm not too fussed about that one. Uh, maybe in future seasons, I'm sure Liverpool will struggle with St James' Park. But I tell you what, Liverpool really did have to give 100% today, and they did, to be fair. Alright, not too bad for Newcastle, no shame in that. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think it was a good performance? Do you think you can actually show have done better? I don't know. For me, uh, I think it was decent. Uh, I talked about the problems later on, but uh, no shame in that at all. And I think at the end of the day, the most important part at the end of the day is the fact that we're staying up. And with performances like that, we definitely deserve to stay up really good today. But anyway guys, uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later on tonight.